Hi, this is Kimberly. Today we're going to be going over some more Facebook comments and I'll be reading them aloud and so some of it just doesn't make sense but we're going to be going over the Gannon Stout case discussion Facebook group and the Justice for Gannon Stout case discussion Facebook group and there's probably a little more thrown in there here and there but it'll be fun. I hope you enjoy it. Well, well, well. Look who is feeling more comfortable in her own skin. She wants to share it with you. I think she's quite enjoying the limelight a little bit. Well, Harley's 18 now. Her mother is locked up and her father is deceased. She's a very pretty girl and I understand she is actually a model. I'll do another video on Harley coming up. She's doing well as a model. She's been doing it since she was a little girl. I hope she has her head on straight and... I do hope that she was not made to be involved with her mother, by her mother. How do you deal with that? Bless her heart. I, I wish the best for her. I mean, if she did, I think she most likely felt forced into it. Harley's getting out there trying to resume her life. Who knows how this is going to go. And I wish Harley much love and peace. And now, deciphering Facebook comments. Someone posted, Divers deployed. I just drove by the pond on Mesa Ridge and they were putting a boat on the water with a couple of divers. What pond? The one off Fountain Creek? Well, shit, I can just about see that. Let me step outside. You can drive back there, but it's sure something you would have to work at. Must be a different area and not in the Glen. I checked both. Hell, one is gone altogether. I have no clue what this person is talking about. And someone else said, can you see anything? Not a thing. Is it the large pond in the older glen near filing five? I'm there now. No one is there. Okay, thank you. These guys were on the corner at 1130 today with the picture that's posted there. No, this is by Loves, Willow Springs Ponds. I wonder what led them there. No clue. And I'm assuming that is where she is talking about. However, she also scared people this morning about the mobile command unit being at the church because she said the road it is on instead of at the church. Makes sense? No, none of this shit makes sense. What are they talking about? Hopefully it makes sense to y'all, or maybe I just got some shit out of order. It wouldn't be the first time I got shit out of order. This is from the Gannon Stout Case Discussion Facebook group. Timeline adjusts to change based off dishonesties of stepmother. Uh, it looks like a timeline they got off the news. I don't know. Is it a fact, though, that 911 called at 6.55 p.m. and cops didn't show for four hours? And someone replied, this is what was reported to the media by ESC, which is El Paso Sheriff something. I don't know. None of this fucking shit's making sense. She reported him as a runaway, not as missing. It wasn't until later when the neighbor called that they showed up shortly after because he still was at home. Not sure if the neighbor said he ran away or he was missing in their call. If a kid ran away, cops will usually give them a few more hours to come home before looking into it. The neighbor called around 8.45, I believe. Okay, I'm not even going to go off about this because I'm, I'm tired of going off about the whole being reported as a runaway and shit. I'll just say again, this encompasses everything. He was a child, a little boy, 11 years old, is a child. Someone else replied, same neighbor that had video. My teen daughter used to run away all the time. I'd call the cops and we'd begin the search, as it should be. No, a different one, someone replied. She waited until dark to report him missing. That makes it harder to search. That's a good point. I didn't even consider that. Exactly. She showed up without him at about 2.30, but waited another four, almost four and a half hours to report him missing. She was hoping a scent would be gone and he wouldn't be found. Harder to search at night in the dark. 
And then someone found this very old angel fire page that Piece of Shit made back in the day. I believe 2003, but don't quote me on that. And someone said, it's difficult to read. And then they posted a link so others could go there. Tisha Lynn's page, angelfire.com. Okay, it's from 2006. Someone said, good, now we have a face to associate to the stepmom. That photo is like 2006 on that site. This is her now. She doesn't look like she has changed much in looks. Three-year-old daughter? What? Is this like her own blog? It's a web page she made when her daughter was little. Whose daughter? Sorry. Ha ha, angel fire. That is hilarious. Finally, a voice of reason coming up. Someone that explains what the hell's going on. I've been lost since the fucking beginning. Tisha, stepmom, made this web page when her own daughter, Harley, who is now 17, was three years old. And someone replied, wait, what? LOL. Solicitation? Where did that come from? And then just a bunch of senseless conversation follows and people keep posting the same link and I don't understand the purpose of that. But here someone posts a link again, Tisha Lynn's page. Someone replies, I don't see a connection, sorry. And someone else replies, daughter? Question mark. Like, what the fuck are y'all? I'm so confused. Then someone else says, the girl screenshot the website, so I just posted the link to it. All it is is a web page that Letitia, stepmom, made years ago when her daughter was three. Thank you. The end. And then someone says, can't see it. Can't see what? They keep posting the goddamn link. And someone said, you just clicked the link. There's really nothing of importance on it. If I was a moderator, I would just delete this damn thread. It, that's a level of stupidity, incompetency, etc. that I've not seen before. And then someone says, sick as heck, I'm a teacher, seen too much of this. Don't know what she's talking about. Someone else replies, I have my four-year-old granddaughter in bed with me. Stranger danger we are working on. Then some sociopath erases it. I would die for my kids and grandkids, including my stillborn. Today, someone else replied, had to have been 14 years ago if her daughter was only three. Correct. And someone says, teach law? Well, piece of shit had all kinds of falsehoods on everything she posted on the interwebs, including a fake LinkedIn with PhD and all this other bullshit. Here a bitch, there a bitch, everywhere a fake bitch. If piece of shit posted it, it's a lie. Just know that it's a lie. Help local kids with their education and family problems. Frowny face. Last I heard, she needed a lawyer to understand what the cops were saying. Yeah, it seems she struggles with people that speak proper English, even though she's supposedly a teacher. To be honest, detectives like to insinuate or twist things in interviews. That's probably why she asked for a lawyer. Not defending, just saying that's probably why she lawyered up so fast. It's actually the smart thing to do. And someone says, laugh my ass off, 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 off. And then finally someone replies, yes, that is the only thing I do not blame her for. They always say never talk without a lawyer. And that is because they will try and twist and turn what you say around. So I cannot blame her for that. Wait a minute. Well, unfortunately for her, she did not lawyer up, as some said or thought. I actually don't think she had a lawyer, which she had the public defenders once she was extradited back to Colorado. And honestly, her liaria had taken over and she was having loose, watery vowel movements. She just couldn't stop talking. And her words were loose and, and would come three, four, eight times in a day. I mean, think back to her vowel incontinence. She had that interview with Spencer Wilson. It w I was embarrassed for, for everyone. It's a good thing they were outside. There was liaria all over the place. 
I think her chronic liaria can also be a symptom of a more serious condition such as irritable vowel syndrome or inflammatory vowel disease. Frequent and severe liaria could be a sign of thumb fuckery disease or functional vowel disorder. She talks like somebody with a paper ass, you know, an individual that lacks substance. They can't back up their big talk and their bragging and their liaria. Let's not make this more complicated than it has to be. If you don't want to be called out on your shit, don't act shitty. T. I just don't know what's worse, the hateful bitch spreading rumors and lies or the uneducated idiots who believe her. Stop that shit. If you could read my mind, I'm pretty sure you'd be traumatized for life. Insecurity just makes up complete lies to make herself feel better about being a worthless piece of shit. Innocent people are never nervous. If you are telling the truth, you know when it's been twisted and your story never changes. It's not difficult. Did I say anything about being nervous? No, I am talking about police making what I say into something else because there are many police officers that are just not honest. Some people believe that, some don't, but I've seen it and I know it for a fact. Well, it's part of an interrogation technique where they intentionally tell your story back to you with mistakes. If you agree with their mistakes, you're probably lying. Signed, a former cop. This commenter seems to be developing an attitudinal problem. Again, did I say anything about being nervous? Don't twist what I said. Reply. I meant to reply to Terry, and I'm saying innocent people aren't nervous and therefore don't go seeking lawyers right away. No, they don't. But if you're being treated as if you're guilty before it's proven that you are, if the detectives are twisting your story, then to protect your rights, you'd get a lawyer. I'm not saying she isn't guilty. I suspect she is. But getting a lawyer was probably the smart thing to do. The smart thing would have been never to do this, or not to lie, and or bring attention to oneself. Agreed. If I were innocent, I'd never ask for a lawyer. That really makes you look even more guilty. Just my opinion, though. Ever hear of falsely convicted people? They thought they did not need a lawyer, did not work for them. That is one thing I don't blame her for, either. I would get a lawyer. Yes, I have. However, based on the evidence in her BS interview, she ain't one of them. I guess I'm kind of torn here, because really, I get both sides. That is true. That might be true. I am not part of the investigation, but I have my thoughts. I don't agree with this whatsoever. There are plenty of innocent people that have been put away for crimes they didn't commit. Many cases that were based on an interrogation. I have friends in law enforcement, and even they have said that you should never speak to anyone without representation. You can disagree, but it's a matter of opinion. Oh, she likes to help local children with their family problems. How nice. Angel fire. Wow, that's a blast from the past. Close to her mom, is she? Then Deborah will know what has happened, I bet. If you ever did get your savior into your life, this may be the time you need to call on him, because pretty sure your lies are about to bite your ass. It's so blurry. Can't read. And now we're back to the Angel Fire document, Tisha Lynn's page, with the link, blah, blah, blah. Someone said, thank you, ma'am. Someone else replied, ew. Another one said, look when it was last updated. Another one said, let me see. Thursday, February 6, 2020. What? You have a missing stepson and you're on the internet updating your blog? Ugh, ew. 12.24 a.m. What's the matter? Can't sleep? Gee, I wonder why. Someone else said, My thoughts exactly. I want to know what she deleted. Guess I'll sleuth the Wayback Machine. Fire it up, woman. Let me know. 
don't have time to compare here's landing page and then the link again because that's what they do they're the same one she hasn't done much on it who knows but now I want to find her MySpace. I'm sure she has a life journal too. For God's sake, I thought I was nosy. God Almighty, son. What they do, find all the blogs or something? Oh, geez, sir. So many online blogs, online journals, online diaries, e.g. endless possibilities. If you're using a phone, you can zoom in and out. I'm on my tablet. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, and it works on there, too. But it is still blurry regardless. Had a hard time reading myself. It's really worthless. However, I am curious what she updated 6 February 2020, especially when it's only February 5th, 2020. I know. Hmm. If I may interrupt their conversation briefly. Could it possibly be that piece of shit at this point was on the East Coast? Maybe in Florida or South Carolina? So she was two hours ahead? And maybe that's why it was updating as the 6th when it was still the 5th where they are, which I'm assuming in a different time zone. I could be wrong, but that's just my thought. Oh, thank you, and carry on, please. I'm sure she was just deleting stuff because who the heck uses Angel Fire? Probably Googling herself. Yeah, but it shows 6 February 2020 today. It's only the 5th of February 2020. Is there a time difference? It's 11.41 p.m. where I am now, two hours behind your time. Someone said, right, I'm Eastern Standard Time. It's 2345 hours here, so it would be 2145 hours there. But her blog even shows Eastern Standard Time makes zero sense. That pretty much shows she is not in police custody. Excuse me, it's me again, but they are overthinking this time thing. It's probably wherever the blog originates from they probably have it set to their time boom problem solved probably in asia somewhere you know like 13 hours ahead anyway let's get back to this the comments aren't they riveting I sh i'm sure i will find some really good ones eventually not that these are boring let's dive right back in if she was, she wouldn't be surfing the internet. Exactly. I was going to state that in my last comment. I don't know what happened. Hmm. So she worked as a computer tech. Interesting. Yeah, apparently she's just freaking brilliant. A computer tech, a teacher, a PhD graduate. She's a freaking genius. LOL. Thoughts of how to track things, how to delete things come to mind. Say she is going to school for law, but then lawyers up quick. Oh geez, let's not forget her law degree. Give it up. True. And now we're back to the Angel Fire document, Tisha Lynn's page. And Tisha Lynn's page reads, Hello everyone, my name is Letitia Harden, and I am a resident of Pembroke, North Carolina. I am a senior political science major and currently work at the UNCP Computing Center as a Brave Tech whatever the hell that is. I enjoy playing softball, hanging out with my friends, and just living life to its fullest. I plan to teach law in the future. Oh, wow. She's got some high ambitions. And also volunteer to help local kids with their education and family problems. Well, she's just an all-around wholesome person. What the fuck happened? My mother's name is Deborah, and she is the best mom in the whole world. That's false, because I, Kimberly, am the best mom in the whole world. So, false. She has encouraged me to pursue my dreams and never give up. 
I have a brother named Dakota and a sister named Julie. My boyfriend is Chance, and we have a beautiful three-year-old daughter named Harley. If I'm not mistaken, she sounds like Miss Teen USA. My overall plan is to get the job of my dreams, live wealthy, and have our Savior in my life. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I'm moved beyond belief. Love, Taisha. And now, join me over in the comment section again, please. Can anyone see what the last update to her blog was? Yes, discussed in detail above. She posts dated for tomorrow. It shows dated 6 February 2020, but it's only 5 February 2020. Well, technically it's 6 February 2020, Eastern Standard Time by three minutes, but she's still two hours behind. My God, people, the time is, why are you focused on that? Oh, they must be ADD, bless their hearts. Okay, an update wouldn't have to be made by her. It looks like she has ads on her page. When the ads change, it'll show the page was updated. The ads are automatically changed by the Angel Fire platform, not her chatting on the PC, laughing emoji or whatever. Uh, what are those things called? Anyway, you know, the laughing thing, laughing face. Hmm, so she worked as a computer tech. Interesting. Can anyone see what the latest update to her blog is? For fuck's sake. There was never anything on the blog part. Just this intro and a link to three pictures. This was 14 years ago, goddammit. Kinda like MySpace. So her daughter is 17 now, making this 14 years old. Great. I hate the name Len now and I need to change it. LOL, me too. Same. Ashley Franco with KKTV in Colorado Springs said, Metro Crime Lab bringing equipment to Gannon Stalk home. I've reached out to the sheriff's office for an update. Have not gotten back yet. Then this is from True Crime Society on Facebook. And there's a link, not sure if posted, but found from another group. I'm listening to a live now, hearing the daughter is in protective custody, her a cousin. Harley or Lena? Probably Harley. Which daughter? Harley. She only has one daughter, so it would be Harley. Apparently, she called her cousin frantically last night. The woman relaying the info is about to come live, I believe. Am I allowed to give YouTube names out? Then someone ask again, which daughter. Can y'all get your shit together, please? I know y'all are excited. I can feel the excitement, but for fuck's sake. She only has one daughter, so it would be Harley. Apparently, she called her cousin frantically last night. The woman relaying the info is about to come live, I believe. Am I allowed to give YouTube names out? Which daughter? I want to slap some of these people. Someone else said, I think we are close to a break. Per life I'm watching. This lady's cousin is friends with stepmom. Stepmom called her last night crying hysterically, saying CPS took her daughter. Yeah, piece of shit. What's it like to lose a child? You haven't even lost a child. She's still alive. She's just not in your presence. It hurts, doesn't it? Damn batshit crazy witch. Murdering witch. Also said she's being set up. No details, but apparently there is a guy involved and several locations being searched. There is more video, more info not being released. Stepmom said she would call her friend back last night. Never did. Think she was arrested. You can link the video. Gannon Stout, DA May, enters home. Why would CPS take her daughter? She is considered an adult. She is enlisted in the Air Force. And I just checked it was Mommy Rambling's blog channel. I will link this video in the description. Yeah, I had to put newspapers all over the floor because people were so excited about it. Can someone like my comment so I can come back to this? Hoping they finally get to the truth and find Gannon. This is the chick that said stepmom was arrested. She's about to talk to someone, but I don't know who it is. Someone is calling in and waiting on a caller. Ah, the suspense. Do you know who is calling? 
I think the chick who is the cousin of the neighbor, but not certain. What the fuck, lol, we shall wait. Hmm, I hope so. She's on the phone with someone named Marie now. A school? The goddamn psychic was right again. Treat her fairly. Pfft, waterboard her. Hey, I agree on that one. I feel like the parent's statement earlier was directed at stepmom daughter. They mentioned talking of scared and also mentioned Gannon's sisters. May have been a tactic to get her to talk. As soon as I heard sisters, plural, knowing that one is a step, I instantly thought, scare tactic for sure, and I'm hoping it will work. My exact prediction. The birth mother does have other daughters, so he does have multiple sisters. I caught the sister's comment as well. He actually has two stepsisters. Harley and the birth mom has a stepdaughter. Guys, a friend of mine just posted this, not sure if true, but thought I'd share. The friend of stepmom's cousin said she talked to stepmom last night and said stepmom was hysterical because they put her daughter into protective custody. She also said stepmom was arrested. She's in Mommy Rambling's vlog chat giving this info. You know, anybody can go into anybody's chat and claim they're the man on the moon and they just want attention. Sometimes they are the man in the moon, but a lot of times they aren't. And no, she wasn't arrested till March, was she? March 2nd, and this was February 5th. A lot of rumors were flying around. I do know that. Flying around on piece of shit's broom. Oh, and I am also told that the gossip that I was talking about the other day that that uh, piece of shit used to be married to Landon's brother. I am told that is false. That was false information. And so I at this time would like to retract my statement. I know I'll run across some comments or, or something that'll clear that up, or I'm confident I will, but yes, I'm told that was false, so it doesn't surprise me. A lot of things were just swirling around, and with that, and with having to admit a failure to you guys, that will, I'm going to wrap it up right here. I'm done. Do you end done? Stick a fork in me. I am super tired today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Much love and peace. Thank you for listening. <laughs>